Hi everyone, uh, today I thought I would do a bit of a retro review of a Macintosh Performer 475, or otherwise known as an LC 475. Um, this particular machine has been one of my favourite machines that I've been using lately for retro stuff. Uh, I bought this off eBay uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, and when I got it, uh, it still I haven't, even, I haven't cleaned it up yet, but um, I thought, yeah, it looked in average condition. Uh, but as soon as I opened it up, it was pretty clear how uh, good condition the motherboard was in. Uh, I haven't had to replace the capacitors on this yet, but everything is looking in pretty good condition. So I've replaced the uh, pram battery. Um, I've installed this uh, network card. Okay, so this one I got new in box basically from eBay a couple of years ago and I've finally got a chance to use it. Um, I've upgraded the RAM, it originally came with, um, so it's got 4 meg on board and then uh, it had 16 meg and I've put in a 32 meg module, so it's got 36 meg now. Um, so yeah, it's a really, really nice condition board. Um, at some point I probably will have to replace the capacitors, but for now it's looking surprisingly good. Uh, it's got just your standard, I think it's half meg video memory. Um, but the biggest issue I've had is hard drives. I have tried three or four different drives and none of them work. So I ended up purchasing uh, this from another Australian guy called Michael, who is awesome. Um, and this is what it is. It is a 50 pin SCSI to micro SD and it is awesome. Um, so it's got a 4 gig uh, SD in here. I've partitioned it into a 2 gig partition and I've just got it sitting on some, some cardboard and this is just the back plane um, from over here where the uh, um, video card went in. Uh, floppy drive works well. Um, fan and speaker it's all yeah it's, it's beautiful it's a really nice machine um, the next step is to upgrade the CPU to a full um, 6840 um, 680 yes 68040 CPU uh, this one's just the standard 25 megahertz one without maths code processor um, but this machine is really surprisingly quick so I thought I would give you a demo of some of the stuff I've been doing on it um, having this has been made the whole process just so much easier. Um, basically what I did was booted the machine off um, a uh, just a single floppy boot formatted the drive. I think I used a patched setup but I think this can emulate normal hard drives. Um, I then took the SD card out of it and put it into my Mac laptop and used uh, a Mac OS emulator to copy over the um, I think it's 19 install files for Mac OS 7.5 which is really downloadable from Apple um, and then once it's, I installed it uh, I installed the network drivers and it just works basically and now I can FTP files across to it and uh, some really cool stuff there's some yeah, it's got some great uh, great features this machine actually and it's surprisingly quick for its age so um and it's power video and network so yeah pretty sweet all right i'll put the case back on and uh power it up so one issue i have had was with this uh adapter um it actually works fine but um it seems certain monitors don't like uh, the resolution that the LC's put out. I'm not sure about the specific uh, 475. I was having issues with just a classic LC1, um, but I found a monitor that it works with, so uh, it's just a cheap and cheerful thing. Um, as you can see, I've pulled out a bunch of uh, old batteries. Uh, this one was from my uh, Macintosh SE, which I had to uh, clip off because it's not a non-removable one. Um, and then this one was from the 475, I think. So, um, so let's just um, put this 
in. And then connect up the whoop. Connect up the video. That looks good. And it's not soft power, so you just flick the switch. Awesome. I think now that I put more memory in it, it takes a little bit longer for the uh, display to come up. Um, and I actually quite like the keyboard. Um, I don't know, I don't think this is the one that came, well, it didn't come with the keyboard, but this is another one I had. Cool. So as you can hear or not hear, the hard drive is, there is not. So it's very nice and quiet. Oh, it's a good little machine. One thing I've been surprised about is that Mac OS 7.5 seems surprisingly reliable. Um, and I've been able to find a heap of programs for it. So, uh, as you can see, I've got uh, 36 meg RAM. It's using less than 3 meg to boot, which is nice. So, some really cool stuff. Um, Transmit is a great little FTP uh, client. Uh, I've got DHCP working, so I basically should just be able to connect to my FTP server. Yep. Got quite a few files in here. Uh, and I'm actually interested in installing uh, Acrobat. I've been basically installing all the software I can uh, I can find and uh, stop it here. drag and drop. I think I get about three or four hundred K a second off the uh, 10 megabit network card but uh, that's quite reasonable. And yeah, while that's going, I can... Uh, it's a little bit slow while it's copying, but I can leave the app running once it's going, and then have... So bring up some IRC in the background, for example. Um, and we can join the 68K LMA. RC channel. View. So, you can have that running in the background, no problem. Um, and uh, I've been able to find a bunch of games. Um, Spin Doctor is definitely a favourite of mine. Um, Super Maze Wars by the same people was really good too. SimCity I always like. Uh, Duke Nukem 3D runs too slowly on this machine to be playable, unfortunately. Uh, Lemmings is good. Um, Collider is awesome. Ah, oh, there's heaps of good stuff, actually. The uh, one I've just installed, which is, interestingly, not... Ah, I installed that and it is vanished. Ah, Dark Forces I got working on. I don't know why it's in trash. I have to have a look at that. Um, it works okay on this if you disable the sound, otherwise it's too slow to, to play. Um, so, let's um, try and install. Um, oops, it was in. Installers 3, oops, and then I wanted um, Acrobat Reader. So, sometimes I get it unable to find, but if I then actually open, stop it manually and then expand, it does work. Um, so, installers three and then expand. I find this is usually quite quick, except if the file I think is over a few megabytes, it ends up being really slow, and I think it's something to do with memory allocation or something like that. Maybe if I enabled virtual memory it would help, but uh, I find that uh, it just can take an hour to unzip a 
30 meg stop it file. Um, oh no, see it's using, jumped up to 9 meg straight away and using all of it to unzip. Um, anyway, we'll see how we go. I think the thing I've liked about this most is that you can have all this software running um, and it's, you know, it's really quite, uh, quite a usable little uh, machine. So, I've had no issues with it. Alright, so Acrobat Reader. Sorry for my uh, mouse dragging skills and my camera holding skills. Um, I think the thing I hate about uh, System 7 is the way that you can't easily um, organise files properly. It, uh, it's just going to be a bit weird. Um, list view, do we have like a... My name is probably a lot better. Yeah. Okay, so we should have where has Acrobat gone? Adobe Reader. Ah, actually I have to install. Well there you go. Now I found a few other little programs. This nice trace route ping program, IRC, Telnet, FTP. There's a web browser which is slow. There's another one as well which is text only, which is a bit better. Um, but I think what I found most is just having all these games has been really fun to play on. Um, and the machine is quiet. Um, it's been really reliable. I think I had one crash on it when I was trying to run a OS nine application or something like that. Um, but yeah, it's been uh, a big, good, reliable system. Uh, the um, control strip, I had to re do a custom install of macOS to actually get this to pop up. Um, took me a while to find it. Um, yeah, so while it's installing stuff, it is pretty slow. You can't usually do uh, much while it's, it's copying. But you can actually, want, if you're not doing any copying files, you can have no problems having IRC open and um, web browser and stuff like that and for a 25 megahertz machine of sort of 486 kind of performance it's I think pretty impressive um, I've built up significantly faster 486s before and found them to be fairly boring to use um, whereas this one it just has been a really nice little machine um, okay well I don't want to restart just yet I might just uh, show you a quick game Change direction. It's a bit hard playing one handed. But yeah, great little game that one. Um, it's definitely a favourite of mine. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much everything at the moment. Oh, let's actually see if I can open a uh, PDF now. And yeah, personally I think um, 16 meg RAM is mostly fine, or 20 meg RAM if you've got a 16 meg SIM is mostly fine for System 7. I don't think that's a big issue. Um, I think CPU performance is probably more where you would see more improvements. Um, I mean that's not quick, but it's also totally usable. I think the thing that I've found most interesting is that I could almost use this machine for some day-to-day -day things like uh, if I got a nice text editor and I could theoretically do a bit of programming on it although I would unlikely have any you know, git client um, and there's no encryption but uh, other than that it's been a really nice little machine to play with um, so yeah um, LC475 definitely one of my uh, favorite retro machines so far thanks very much <laughs>